Hello everybody, it's the Minecraft Guy 105 here, and today I'm in Cinema 4D. I'm going to be doing a tutorial, but um, first of all, my, I have a cold. My nose is stuffy, so it's not going to be the clearest video ever. But anyway, I'm going to show you the render settings and how to get textures in the sky and clouds and stuff. So let's begin. So first, you want to go down and click here and do control A and this will pop up you want to click on the three buttons now I'm not showing you how to get the world but uh, if you know how to get the world which there are a bunch of tutorials out there then yeah you can but um anyway so when you make the world you should get these textures you want to select the RGB and it should load all the textures but we're not done with that the sampling click none now it might change back to multiple I don't know why it does that but if you like select one of these you'll see it just says none so I don't know why but anyway when I go to basic uncheck specular check alpha go to alpha and select the RGB a texture and turn sampling to none and that what you just did there uh, puts all the textures on and makes the leaves see through like this you can see they're see through so this doesn't look the best right now unless I don't know if you think it looks the best but anyway so what you want to do is go to objects sky create sky so it looks a little funny we're gonna fix that so select clouds go to sky uh, uncheck physical sky click on this little arrow here um, and drag this all the way down here and select this thing click on it and move it up to a brighter spot like here and you'll see that the sky looks pretty normal now um, so next you wanna go to Sun I like to select lens flares it's you don't need to but I do select custom color change this to yellow you can customize all these but I like to put it at white um, then you want to oh in lens flares if you're gonna do that change this to about 50 that's what I like to do the flare intensity but um so now go to clouds uncheck all the layers except for the first one go to layer one and where it says noise uh, select my noise and it should make it squares so then you can see there are square clouds uh, they look a little weird Oops, like there, but if you render it out, they look like squares. Um, there are other ways to make clouds, but I'm not going to do that. So go back to your sky, um, and select time and location. I like to set it to May because it's really bright and everything. Um, I think it looks like Minecraft. I bet you could do like and try June I don't know I like I guess April could work oh, one of those uh, you can set mess around with that you know select one so now if you render it out oops it looks a little bit better um might want to move up the time Yeah, like 14, I guess. Looks good for me. Or did I just do something weird? Uh, I'll show you what flare intensity does. If you look up at oops, the sun and you render it out, it puts that little flare thing on it to make it look like 
one of those things, but anyway, um, now you want to go in your render settings, go to output and, uh, go to presets, this little arrow, click film and video, and I suggest this one, HD TV 720 2997, that one, and change the resolution to 620 and go to frame range and change it to all frames then go to save um, oops <laughs> there I already have anyway then go to the format and click AVI movie and click on the first uh, Intel Kodak thing. Um, then go to anti aliasing or something. I don't know. Click none. Go to options and just uncheck blurriness. Then go to effect global illumination and effect glow. And in glow, you want to set this to ah. Uh, one, one, there two and five and now if you render it out it should look really good it will take longer there are ways to make it go faster but I don't know I still think that this is okay as long as it looks good that's like the most important part <laughs> Now we just have to wait for a long time. Not really. It's probably almost done. Or maybe not. I think it's uh taking a little longer because I'm recording. But yeah. And there you go. So And it'll just do that. Uh, and there. Um, so if you made an animation, like you've set all the keyframes so it does something, you want to go to your first frame zero and click this up here. Hold on, I want to get to a spot where it's not going to, like, go slow. Because the leaves and transparent blocks make it go slow. So I'm just going to do it, like, here. And you want to click this third one. Oops, not the third one. I mean the middle one. And it will start making your movie. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, If you want me to do more tutorials, I will, but... This is it for now. Um, so yeah, I hope this helped. Still think I'm having trouble on render settings, but I don't know. So yeah, it looks a little funny to me. But as you can see, it took about 25 seconds to make that frame. So yeah, it's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Now, see you next time.